we can hit hard. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Heimer. We played Bandle City Aggro earlier. Now we're going to be playing Bandle City Control. I uh, really enjoy playing Curious Shellfolk, and we've played a few different versions of this style of deck. I'm going to try it out with all three Heimers and to go along with all three Victors. Usually I like having a cheaper champion in here, um, but we're going to kind of have like Lecturing Yordle be like a, a cheaper card, I guess, you know, kind of take like a champion slot. Um, Bandle Commando is a card we didn't play before, and we actually haven't played Lecturing Yordle in this kind of deck either. So maybe with the two of these both creating one mana cards, that's just going to be more created cards to help Victor level up. So I'm excited about that. I have played, instead of Lecturing Yordle, we have been playing ben Benamone a little bit. Man, there are so many good fours in Vandal City. It's crazy. Because this makes the two pranks, and of course the pranks are amazing with the Shell Folk. Um, but I'm deciding to go with the Yordle to get these poison darts and get a little bit more removal and stuff like that. So we're gonna try that out. Um, let's see, putting in Time Trick in here. We didn't we didn't have Time Trick before, but of course Time Trick is amazing with Shell Folk because you are whenever you predict, you're selecting from randomly selected options. So this turns the Time Trick into a draw two, with one of them being a created card and costing one less. Uh, there's there's a lot of good options in here. Definitely was thinking about trying to fit in like Station Archivist. Uh, decided against it though because it's we don't have like a lot of cheap spells. You know, I to fit in Bandle Commandos we ended up taking out Pokey Stick. So you know, without having you know no Pokey Stick, no Thermogenic Beam, that kind of stuff. You probably want those kind of spells for Station Archivist. Um, another card that uh, considered playing instead of Lecturing Yordle was Practical Perfectionist. Again, predict could be really good with. Uh, the shell folk but um i don't really want to wait for you know till after the shell folk to play it so just going to go with these lecturing yordles but we'll get to it these are probably going to be longer games we're going to be playing you know slower controlled victor heimer glorious evolution shell folk and just seeing if we can outvalue our opponents so here we go yeah i didn't really think about that of how comparing Loping Telescope to Eminent Benefactor, Benefactor having the last breath create a random epic, you know, and then you have, for two less mana, you have Loping Telescope that you gets to allow you to choose the epic or choose other cards instead. Yeah, that's, that's quite a thing. Okay, I'm keeping the one, the one, the two, the Lecturing Yordle I'm not sure about. I think we'll send it back, because I'm not sure if Lecturing Yordle is going to... Uh, be able to take down all that kind of stuff that we want to. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and lead with the prank. See if we can... Cool. See if we can help our Vandal Commando out a little bit. And that does make Mystic Shot cost 4 mana. Pumps it out a little bit. La soul. Baddies beware, mama's got a gun. Serving less. We'll see if they want to spend four mana to kill that. Probably do. Yep. Hmm. The other cards just seem minimal impact. While this does cost 9 mana, it can have a very high impact. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Man, that is rough. Um. I don't these, I guess. This one will. We can put the Moon Glow on a champion. A little surprised they didn't do any attacking. All three of their champions are three mana and have three health. So Aftershock is good against all three champions. However, they did not play champions. So. Still just Aftershock that thing, I guess. Well, 
what have we here? One step ahead. Do I have to? Built over Peacemaker. Cranking some stuff. Um. Man, they got a lot of Ragnoid sentries. I guess those are just gonna take out the spell shield. Alright, so let's go ahead and. Yeah, I guess we'll make a bunch of Mystic Shots. I don't know. Want a bunch of these still? We need to... You know, get as much value out of the Cure Shell Folk as we can while we can. Let's take a peek at life beneath the waves. Shell Folk is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this will just put me to ten, and I can play it. One double victor. Yeah, probably one two victors. So Victor will be leveled up. I'll hold on to this prank in case we find another shell folk. Oh yeah, why didn't I get a double Victor? Oh, did I only have room in my hand for one? Oh, shell folk doesn't work with champs? Oh, well then I probably should have done something differently. I didn't realize that. Okay, that's my bad. I didn't realize that. As humanity ends, the machines rise. The future is steel and science. I really, this, I really wish they just changed this to be Grant Victors Everywhere, a random keyword, and so we could still, like, cast this Hexcore upgrade and everything like that. I really wish they would change that. Alright, so I got block, block, block. I take four. I guess we don't need to take four. Alright, so they use a Tri-Beam and a Scorched Earth. It would be really nice to Glorious Evolution, but... Which one do we want to do? Do we want Glorious Evolution, or... Yeah, because if I Glorious Evolution, they get to do all this other stuff. Or do we want to play this Bright Steel Formation? Um... 
Um, could also go Yordle. No, it's it's definitely one of these two. I'm doing this. Not bad. Okay, Victor or Heimer? I think it's gotta be Heimer. Yeah, I think it's gotta be Heimer. So we take eight down to seven. Can't really heal my Nexus. Mm. Please don't just kill me from seven. Please don't. Really? They can just kill me from seven? I guess I needed to try to draw into this. Get excited. Unless. Th Could they possibly be saying, like, GG's, like, I'm gonna win? Not possible. Me? Miss? Not by a long shot. Uh, don't I still have flash bombs? I do, and I have puff caps. We can hit hard. Let's challenger. You do? Oh, I don't want to challenge that. I guess we challenge. Bananas? Go away. It's <laughs> 10 1 Otter Buzz. Pretty funny looking. Okay, yeah, maybe I guess they're saying that I'm gonna win, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna be disappointed this is like a four damage spell. They because alright, so wait, so now I have zero puff caps? I thought I had three puff caps a little bit ago. Alright, glorious evolution got us there. Okay, what do we got? Poppy Ziggs, they are aggro. We're gonna have to send back our two fives. I should probably send back Lecture. Yeah, I guess we send back Lecture and Yordle also. We need to find cheaper stuff, but I definitely want Aftershock for Poppy. Where's all of our ones and twos? We have lots of ones and twos. There we go. Thank you. Thinking about not playing this prank yet. Alright, kinda of glad I did. Just need a second. Man. That's a pretty aggressive hand. Just official hat. Remember the objective. 
Yeah, that's a pretty aggressive hand. Make the Empire proud. Please don't play Poppy. Cool. What is that thing? Okay. All right, it explodes, of course. Go ahead, like the fuse. We can block Ziggs. Ah, oh, the sweet smell of science. I got an idea. Okay, you got an idea, huh? Oh dear! Big wretch! I hate you! Alright. One for you, We're taking one three. Oh, absolutely. Pokey Stick is better than Hidden Pathways against Aggro. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any debate there. Absolutely. We have. I have my. Uh, let's see. Our deck it has fifteen, fifteen cards that cost one or two mana, and we only saw one of the fifteen. That's that's the problem, right? Like I mulligan, you know, I'm mulligan looking for those besides just keeping the one aftershock to be able to kill a poppy, but. It's not like we had hidden pathways either. It just the problem was only having one of those fifteen cards. Um, I would like life steal on my Victor, please. You choose. Life steal, Victor. Want to kill the saboteur so it can't attack and deal one to me? It's gonna blow. No one's the wise. Oh, we have 17 cards that cost one or two. What else was I not thinking of? Oh, just the two time tricks. But the time tricks don't really count. Really, the 15. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Okay. So that will kill that. This will kill this. And then the attack's still doing one to us. Zig still does one to us. I'll do better this time. Inferior construct. Life steal? Yes, of course. Oh, I should have played both of these first, because then they would have made this thing a two-two. Impact. Oh, and I guess I would have made that cost zero also. And then I would have had a 1 2 challenger. Okay. I'm gonna need some life steel. Do, 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 well, okay. well, it's gonna be tough for them to do six to my nexus. I don't know if they can. All right, cool. They can't. How about that? Still beat the aggro deck, even with. Our slower hand. Yeah, Heimer was amazing. Yep, Heimer always is amazing. But yeah, exactly. We played the Action Abyss uh, right whenever we leveled up to Diamonds. We didn't lose any LP on it. So that was good timing. 
for the action abyss. So yeah, we just gained gained enough LP with Bandle Burn to get to Diamond, and now we're <laughs> leveling up through Diamond. So that's why I had that action abyss right then. That was really more of a meme tier deck. I don't really want to discard anything. So I want to save Trinket Trade, Time Trick. I want to save these cards for after. To the world below. Let's go ahead and just trade with the 2-2. Two -two. Never mind. I want to save them for after uh, Shell Folk if we can. I'm worried about Powder Keg, then Make It Rain, or Powder Keg, then Red Card. Wow, these are not good. Okay, this is like the worst conchologist I've seen. Uh, so none of these matter, I guess. I don't really want all players draw two. We are we're going to have light, many more cards than them. I guess I'm taking this rising spell force. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so good. Rising spell force. Assistance is key. Maybe we just need to get a Nodder Puss in play. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like Spell of Force, I guess so. Hey, Dan. Yeah, we're doing good today. Six and one with our two rank up decks. Yeah, Trinket Trade's just perfect for our deck, right? It's it's so good with Shell Folk, it's so good with um with Victor. Even good with Heimer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you always wondered what sound an Otterpus made, there you go. What seems to be the problem? We don't really have any problem right now, but I want you in play. I would prefer not to spend any mana, right, and then play the Shell Folk next round and then spend mana. <clears throat> that would be my preference. Please don't kill Heimer. Just stun Heimer attack, pass round. Don't even attack, just pass around. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Pass around, pass. Pass, 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 pass. No, no, no! All right, you get a three one. Victor's cool. Alright, so we could play Victor instead of Shell Folk this round. Yep. Shell Folk's the better card to play. Alright, so we're gonna play Shell Folk, it's the better card to play. The thing about our deck is we kind of have, you know, like we, it takes some mana to get set up. So hopefully, you know, it's like that turn that hopefully we can stabilize. And once we stabilize, we start going crazy.
Two victors isn't bad because Victor's champion spell looks pretty good right now. Lady Luck is smiling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just see what we get. Poison dart is slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna play another one. Three, six, eight. Yes, I do have the room for one more. Stress defense. I think we really need a stress defense. Likelihood is this gets scorched earth, but now since I didn't block earlier, I kind of have to do it. Oh, flock. Uh, gross. All right, so we can make that cost two more. All right, so we can make that cost two more. Five out of seven. Get a couple group shots. All right, so now Victor is going to be leveled up. So there's no reason to play that otter puss right there, uh, because if I play the otter puss, you know it does, it doesn't cost any mana. But if I wait till this round, you know, you know it's a created card, so now it'll cost zero, so it'll gain me a mana. So by not playing it, we can gain a mana. Okay. Elusive. Elusive, cool. Get a Scorched Earth. Wow. This combo plus Scorched Earth combo. Uh, so this is seven damage. Could make it a lot more. If I would have done okay, so this would have been eight, nine, ten. I would have three more damage. Yeah, we're not we're not really. I can't play I can't cast that hexcore upgrade, because that hexcore upgrades for the other victor. These are victor specific. That's a change I hope that they make of getting getting rid of that, of not having them victor specific. I, I think that would be a really good Victor buff, is just make them so that they grant any Victor anywhere. Okay, they don't have anything that does direct Nexus damage right now. I just want to play this first, but I guess it's kind of a little greedy. I guess I should be playing Otter Puss first so that Group Shot does two and then this does the other... Well, nah. Nah. We're, we're okay. Well, are we okay? Actually, maybe we're not okay. Positions! Down to four. That thing goes to six. <laughs> down to five. <laughs> I'm planning, of course, on the open attack with the victor. Spell shield is the best thing that we can hit.
is I can't I can't block with the Victor of course because of um, Scorch Earth. Spell Shield. Life Steal is not bad. Like giving the flock two additional like mana cost just doesn't really matter. Good job, Victor. One step closer. G and G, three and zero. Okay, so we got Poppy Ziggs again, but this time they got Lulu as well. What about the Yordle? I think I want to keep the Yordle. I really want an Aftershock to be able to kill Poppy. I'm glad that they don't have the attack token. Um, the round that Poppy usually comes down. Hmm. I guess we block him. Alright, guess I shouldn't have blocked. Alright, there's an aftershock. Good, good, good. Judgment's interesting. Can we set up like a sweet judgment? I should probably take this. No one's the wiser. I don't know why I'm not attacking there, because if they trade, that's good for me. At least because I don't take the one point of damage here. So this doesn't make any sense. They're playing this Vandal City Mayor before attacking. They should just... Like, this thing's a zero two. Like, they should just open attack. I would think. I probably shouldn't have played the prank. Probably should have played the charger instead of the prank. Because I want two mana for the two poison darts. Safe assumption Lulu would support the mayor. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Man, every champion? Do we have to go there? Might as well play the slow card. At least they don't have any protection for the champion. That's good. So I got really punished by playing that prank, right? If I don't play that prank, I can I can block here. Yeah, I, I like this thing blocks Lulu. This blocks Ziggs. I save three life. I'm at twelve, and there Ziggs is dead, and that's 
I got pretty punished for not for playing that prank. They had another Ziggs. So they had two Ziggs. Two Ziggs, a Pompey, and a Lulu. So they've had four champions so far. Well, I have zero. Definitely wish I had one more mana and could play both of these. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. War Mesa, reporting for duty. Take that nexus damage. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. I know that means I'm taking one from this thing by not taking the two there, but that's still one less point of damage. Sing with the darkness in your heart. So I block, block, block. I take one. Oh, I am taking more than one. Those things have the impact. I'm taking three. Persistence is key. Yep, so playing playing the prank's probably gonna cost me this game. I could have them discard a dem or a, the deal five, but then again, like the deal four, but then again, it may just draw them into that in anyway. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Poppy. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Wow, so there are six champions gone. Not flammable? <laughs> Is that a challenge? Yeah, so they played two Ziggs, played a Poppy, and played a Lulu, and I just made them discard a second Poppy and a second Lulu. So they're out of champions. They they drew all six, <laughs> and all six are gone. This could be greedy, like maybe I should have, you know, time tricked for another removal spell to kill the other stone stackers. So I don't take that one point of damage. Or to set to stop a fervor. So of course we're going for lethal this round. These protect against Fervor. Attacking like this protects against Decimate. Awesome! Got him and we are 4 and 0! Oh.
Twisted Fate Swain replaying this one for the 5-0. This game was super close we had earlier. Minimorph is awesome against Leviathan and really against Swain, but I don't really want to keep it in the opener. But I don't know, maybe we should because, you know, who knows if we'll see it again later. I'm only keeping Victor because, like, we already got, we got a couple of twos that we can keep. Maybe I should be keeping that Manifest because of how good it is against Leviathan, but... We also want to not die. Not dying is important. Baddies beware, Mama's got a gun. Mama's got a gun. I don't change fate. I can see it. Let's cook him. Open attack, I am blocking. I'm gonna play this first so we have a little bit more information, like whenever we manifest, we can just kind of see what happens. I think we're going Conchologist next. Yeah, and then looking for like a spell that costs cheap. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Astounding That's crazy. The last time that we played this matchup, we got those same, the exact same middle and right with the Mushroom Cloud and... To the world below. Uh, with the Mushroom Cloud and I don't know, the Insider Knowledge, whatever that three mana draw two is. Tough spell shield, something that doesn't die to stun flock. Cool, tough. And we can. Uh, a plan is shell full next round, of course. Furious. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. Good death ray to use a mana. I would have something special. Hmm, may need to death ray that. Elusive. I'm kind of thinking they're going to be stun flocking. Deal me in. I think does three. I don't think that's worth my death ray. I'm probably going to need to kill this elusive with the death ray, but I could also save it because it's going to be another victor. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right, first drink of trade. Ooh, we just can have our own death ray or pokey stick, and I guess pokey stick. Yeah, pokey stick sounds cool. We're gonna want a blocker. All right, so new victor is definitely gonna be leveled up by the time I play it. Ah, oh, gross. Let's get down to eight and have a hurt shell folk. Looks like trouble. Why so aggressive? Can I go down to six? No, I can't go down to six. Try again. I don't like any of them. Let us take a peek at 
life beneath the waves. So we're going to need to have these mini morphs for Leviathan. I'm probably going to need the spell mana. So I didn't play the prank. Okay. So now we can play that for zero. Um, these don't really matter. Go with that. Spell shield. Spell shield always cool. Gain a mana with that. Pokey stick over here. So this thing has minus two health, so now it's a two-two that whenever it's played deals two damage to itself. <laughs> so kind of canceled out both of those cards. So we can kind of assume that there's a good chance that this is another champion over here, considering we didn't hit that either time, and it hit the same two both times. Now not necessarily right, but there's a decent chance that's another champion. <laughs> yeah. So Kadra's not doing too much. This still makes the powder keg. So it's not useless. Oh, that's a good card to draw. Just, you know, being a draw too. I don't change faith. Yeah, they're drawing well. I hope we don't need many more for this round. Okay, let's aftershock that. Oh, it's all elusive and everything. Can't block elusive. They attack with everything, I'm blocking with everything. Probably... Yeah, okay, they just attack with those. I'm, I'm not going to block with Victor for Ravenous Flock purposes, and I'll block with Heimer. Heimer's already damaged anyway from, like, for Flock purposes. Let's go, Victor. Regen. Right now, 15 for an open attack. Oh, I want to play Glorious Evolution. I don't think I should. Ingenious. It's kind of looking like we're going to be 5 and 0. Oh. I'm keeping the 6 mana available for top deck Leviathan. So they are keeping 
Swain's Ravenous Claw. Alright, that gets done. Right, right, right. Well, that's not perfect, but that's alright. We'll figure things out. Alright, so no Leviathan this round. I think that's pretty safe to say. Man, I love like I love all three of these. These are all just amazing options. Those are all great options. This is a good unyielding spirit matchup. The Equinox is awesome. They're they're all they're all awesome. Zero. I guess I should be playing that first. I could have just got a con a otter puss that I would have. Yeah, it's like this could have been a one-two otter puss. Okay, so it is Leviathan. Do know that now. That was the other card in hand. You got legs. Use them. And of course they know about that mini morph because of like how I with the with the created spells, like how they had the how we had the one. At least it, they may have known about it. But alright. A vision of progress brought to life. Five and O. Oh. Alright, so five and O oh with Victor Heimer. It looked good. It looked like a lot of our changes worked out really well. I liked having those Bandle Commandos. They helped, you know, they helped out as just giving us another thing to play on round two and getting us to those Owl Cats were, were pretty nice. Um, the time trick in the late game was was good. Lecturing Yordle did some work. Um, I think our our small little changes that we made to the deck did help out, and we saw that like you know we time tricked to get too many morphs because sometimes you need too many morphs for two Leviathans. Thank you, Shell Folk. So cool, cool deck here. So 5-0 and oh in ranked. We played against um, Twisted Fate Swain twice. We played against the Aggro Ziggs Poppy twice. One time with Lulu, one time not. And another good deck, whatever the first deck that we played against was. But <laughs> So you saw that we played twice against Control deck, twice against an Aggro deck. But both of those decks do a, a good amount of Nexus damage and put a good amount of pressure on you. Even the Twisted Fate Swain Control deck, they're still doing that as well. And so the fact that we have no Nexus healing and we were able to win all four of those, I think that was a really good sign. So I'm, I'm really, really pleased with it. So Victor Heimer looking good. Best deck of the day, 5-0 and ranked. So with our two, the two decks that I thought were going to do good today, I, I knew the Action Abyss wasn't really going to do that well, but I I was uh, designed these two to, to try to make sure to, for us to get from Platinum to Diamond. And we did. We went 9-1. and one with our two Bandle Tree decks, Bandle Tree, Bandle Burn, and Bandle Control here with Victor Heimer. So cool, cool, cool. All right, so great, great day uh, today. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, uh, leave those comments. Hopefully this is a deck that y'all try out. If you've been enjoying these different Glorious Evolution, Curious Shell Folk decks I've been playing, uh, this one is definitely the, the latest and best so far. So give it a try yourself. Let me know how it goes for you. Again, with these kind of decks, 
you have all sorts of decisions to make, so they're difficult to play because you're making so many decisions. And with the more decisions that you make, the easier, you know, the more chances you have to mess it up, but also the more chances you have to win any kind of game because the, the more chances you have to find the correct answers that you need. So give it a chance and uh, let me know how it goes for you, those y'all watching later on YouTube. But that's it for Victor Heimer. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.